Tour Tour. Hi. Hello. I think there's a gold medal around your neck. Something like that. Where did that come from? Well, I just won a national title. Oh, well, mm. it's not like you do that every day or It doesn't happen every day, no. Mm. And quite. I mean, actually, it's my first time. It's your first time? It's my first time. So can we talk about it? Let's talk because about it. first time, mm -hmm. talk me through, did you know it was going to happen? And just what your emotions were like. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that I did know it was going to happen because I had visions of it happening, okay? And I know that may sound crazy, but I did and it happened. So what can you really say, you know? Um, so that's really exciting. I'm happy about it. I knew that I was going to come back and do something, but I didn't even come back all the way yet. So I'm excited. Like, I haven't even come back all the way just wait till Peter Pass. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, listen, I'm excited. You wanna know why I'm excited? Mm. You remember what you did last year, right? I remember. First American coming yes. back with a triple jump medal? Mm -hmm. First three. Oh, girl, <laughs> girl. So, you talking about like, you know, you be having visions, like you be knowing when stuff is gonna work out for I you. I be knowing. So, did you know that was gonna happen last year? Yeah, I absolutely knew that was gonna mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. I was guided. <laughs> and I just. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but I was, and it happened. So, like, what can you say? But I don't think that's crazy, though, because I feel like there's a lot of people who feel mm -hmm. the same way. Let's talk about Zarnell. You know Zarnell from Great Britain, the 100-meter guy? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. He said he wrote down in his book mm -hmm. 983 was going to happen. And what he run that day? Mm -hmm. 983. So, that's not crazy, girl. It's not crazy. It's not crazy. Mm -hmm. So, what do you feel like is going to happen in Budapest? Because I'm, I'm assuming you're thinking something great is going to happen. Mm -hmm. But what is your visions telling you? I can't give you all the secrets of okay course. okay but i will tell you that i know that i'm going to be in a place physically mentally and spiritually where i'm going to do something great for sure yeah now talking about being in the right place mentally physically and spiritually mm -hmm. how do you get to those places because we me you and jasmine we talked in the fall about like everything that was going on with you over like the past couple of years just a lot of mess going on so what do you do to make sure that you're in those right places so that way when you come out here and you win your gold medal it's no surprise right that's such a great question um so for me it's different for everybody but what i do is i make sure i'm taking care of myself like i'm really on my self-care and for me that means meditating in the morning that means doing my morning movement connecting with myself that means allowing myself to experience pleasure in all different types of ways that means journaling and that means like accepting the accepting success and being ready for success and knowing that i deserve success Yes, and you do deserve success because what do you have? I got a medal. <laughs> Congratulations, Tori. Thank you. <laughs>